Hello everyone, this is Sarah's Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Swinzian Let's Play. We continue for episode 12 from turn 75 in the autumn season 197. So we are one point away from reaching King. Very, very close. And I believe we have the battle to do so. We just have to fight it. Our armies don't delegate very well against these non-mine garrisons, but in reality we tear them apart with our fire and siege weapons and our cavalry. It's not even close. But we just have to fight it. This should be a T-Terrace, so the terrain's gonna be a little weird, but because we have siege weapons, they should be coming down towards us as we Shoot fireballs at them. And we have fire arrows here as well, and of course juggernauts on top of that. I don't think we have to use the cavalry, but if they do get close and the generals don't want to duel, we might have to do something about it. They're gonna come. Let's see. Does not want to fight. Does not want to fight. Okay, I can't do anything about that. Let's round up the cavalry off to the side. Put them together. Of course, Sun Jian can lead the charge with impetuous charge, and our charge bonus would go to about 800. It's a lot of Nanman troops, actually. No need to worry, though. I'm kind of having a rough time moving through that formation, but... No rush! Doesn't seem like... Oh! Finally, someone changed their mind. Only for Sun Jing, though. It's a little awkward, but we're going to make a small budge to clear some of the space. Alright, no time. I know it's spear units, but heck, with this much charge bonus, we're just going to go for it. I don't know why I moved that siege weapon, but we're fine. Yeah, we moved a few units at inopportune times. And he's going to be angry. Although I'm pretty sure Army Ultimate will not. I'm sure Army Loss is going to get him soon. Not yet. Some of the units have bounced back. Now I think it's over. 
Okay, except the Slinger wants to fight. Not anymore. Okay. A bounce back. Are we finally done? He bounced back as well? No, it's over. A lot messier than I thought. But we still wipe them, and we should trigger three kingdoms right here. I'll take the stone pig. This will also remove imperial favor. All right, we're maxing army. I think we'll take a few more trade. We'll just do that. Let's see. Right, we part ways because we can't be in the same coalition as Kingdom. Who's the third one? Don't draw. Okay. Now, he has the Emperor. Does he... He did not restore, right? Yeah. Kingdom of Drolp. Uh, this is a very, very far Emperor seat. Uh, our foolish partner, Kingdom of Drolp. That's not too far. He would have been stupider to put it in uh, Huainan, but relatively close to us. We'll target him soon. We now have many, many options. We can try to confederate the Han, actually. We're going to actually make a few confederation moves. We are strong enough to make these work, especially if we can get the attitude positive. And that will smooth us out quite a bit. Uh, Liu Bei, already good friends with us, but not willing to do it. So he's that's impossible. I kind of want to take the Han territories, especially since they didn't get restored. Basically, we gain control of the south right away. We're going to trade with our fellow vassal here. I'll take a few armor. I mean, he's it's going to be more expensive than what we can afford here. But uh, we can do something like this and give him one food. Yeah, small payment on top. Really wish he can fix the fervor situation. We're probably not going to fight them either. Hmm. Feel like we can get more here. We don't have to attack them right away. We still have plenty of fight left to do, but I'm not sure how it will go. Let's fix our court first. Air is good. Grand Tutor is kind of weird because I don't think we're keeping him. So I'm going to probably move him down for now. Ceremonies. Let's make the mom the tutor. Handong doesn't have any good background bonus, so he's going to go take care of horses for us. Renshaw does have good background bonus, but it's more for poor arms, and that's not really what we want, so he's going to come down as well. Uh, somehow we are related to him through some marriage that we have set up. That's okay. That means he can be taking care of the Imperial Clan. Zheng Jiang's bonus. 15% all damage for all forces when attacking. 100 points of faction support. Increased income from vassals and subjects. That's pretty good. 
she can be in charge of one of the Grand Excellency office. We have other choices though. Because we're modded, we actually have a lot of other choices. A lot of our family members have really strong bonuses. Uh, this is not it needed. The extra ammo is not what we're looking for. Go down this side. Let's see. I know, for example, Swimful here has... Nope, not interesting. Zhou Yu has minus 10% renew upkeep. Not that useful, given that we're going to make a lot of money. Sun Ben has 15% campaign movement. That is actually quite good. We'll definitely consider this a little bit. Nothing for Sun He, nothing for Sun Yu, Sun Jiao. Yeah, look at this. 10% discount for cavalry unit, 10% upkeep. That's just for himself, I guess. 100 well, it's 10 point of charge speed. Pass. Okay, pass. Sun Tzu is ready there. Lady Wu is ready there. Tao Ren does not need to get a job. Tao Tao for what? Spies? We're not playing the spy game at all for this one, so we can pass on that. Uh, Tao Ying's really good because we get two administrator spot, two assignment spot. I think we throw him in there. Uh, Chu Gong's weapon. Taoying probably will get the job. Could be known. 30 charge for himself when commanding. Ready to throw Zheng Jiang in there. We are not really lacking food, and we're going to have plenty of territory, so we don't need that. Lu Bu. Not really useful. Discount for shot cavalry, not a big deal. We have plenty of cash, 15%. Melee damage. Most shock cavalry have high armor piercing damage, so this is actually quite low. Not that useful. We'll give him a post for sure. But he's not gonna end up here. He can go here. This is not terrible, especially since his uh, bonus set has some extra bonus on top, but it's not really the bonus we're looking for. Like, corruption reduction is probably the first thing we're looking for. We don't have any of those characters, unfortunately. Yeah, trade influence doesn't do much. All right, so it actually seems like we don't have anyone that must be in the position. Tao Ying definitely should come in. He's one of the better ones. We'll throw him in here. We're missing a Chancellor, we're missing a Grand Commandant. I mean, we could just bring Tao Tao for the high satisfaction. And we can shift him down if we want. It'll give us a few spy positions just to take a look at characters, even though I don't want to do any fancy spy stuff. Joe, you could be throwing there as well for more roleplay purposes. 10% revenue discounts, not that bad. Uh, let's throw him here. Throw us also up there. And then we want to fill a couple of these positions. Corruption reduction. Who else is highly ranked?
We're going to keep one of these spots open so we can shuffle characters in and out of the administrator slots. Actually, both of these can be open for now. We don't have to fill it. We have three open administrator positions and we are dying to get a few people in there. Zonkula needs one. Uh, he does have the burn trait, but he's probably not going to have the other bonuses to make him worthwhile. Yeah, the bandit tree is not great for this. We could do a few things first. We could try to confederate some factions. And that's going to let us know what characters we are going to have available to us. Maybe better characters for these jobs. Let's talk to the High Empire. That's a piece of land that we really want. Let's see how we got to do this. Um, Confederation right now is negative 17. The opinion can go to negative 50, so we get 25 points. So this will be positive. We do have to do a few false promises, and we can actually get a lot of money from them if we really want to. Wait, I'm not requesting, I'm paying. All right, we're gonna promise a very decent amount, 5,000. Oh, they don't want much. Okay. Well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be easier to type 5,000, but we'll do 15, that's about the same. I can get a lot of their cash over, so it's not wasted in a sense, if we wanna do that. We can do this later to shift the value. We can just do a couple of these first. We'll probably have to create some vassals afterwards from the land that we get from them. To make up for the lost trade. We still have one open trade slot. 130. We'll do like two more of these and just start absorbing people. Hmm, does that not shift the value? I guess that doesn't shift the value. We have to do like a flat payment. That's 82. Let's see if that shifts it. Oh, it does. Yeah, so instead of giving them one coin each, we're just going to extract some wealth from them and use it on buildings. There's so much land that we're going to get from them that needs development. That we're going to need some of these cash. I'm not going to absorb all their cash. That takes way too long. Just whatever little bit I can get here, it's fine. Alright, that's enough to absorb him. I don't think he has any items in here. So now it's just confederate. Got a big chunk of land. Uh, we can maybe absorb Liu Yan right here instead of finish him off. He has some items in the faction that I kind of want. 48. Yeah, it's not going to be possible in one move. Okay, maybe we do wipe him then. Is Ma Teng possible? 36. No, that's not enough. Sweet. We're a little far from these faction. So don't think Liu Bei, maybe? He has no land. He has no land for so long. Still no. 
Uh, they're also part of this coalition, which gives the AI a sense that they're actually stronger than they are. That's fine. Uh, they're in a coalition with Dong Chuo. Nope, can't get them. Can't get them. Okay, maybe we can't get many of the characters. This one's also not possible. Our own vassal. 25, also not possible. Huh, it turns out that... Uh... Okay, this might be interesting because then we can use this piece of land to launch armies in the north. That's the beauty of this part. Wow, he is... he's not doing well, let's just say that. Absorbing yeah, him actually is going to help us quite a bit in speeding up the war because we can launch armies from here. So Sun Tzu is instead of going for a southern expedition, He's going to be going for a northern expedition here. Fighting yellow turbans firsthand. Alright, he's over 200. We're going to start asking for some cash back. Relatively, how much are we talking about here? I can get most of it in three deals, so okay, that's fine. Yeah, we are we are gonna empty him out. Even though he's not there, we could get it. 10 more points down, but he's just so weak, he's going to say yes to this. Alright, before we look at the other factions that we're going to get, let's take a look at what we have here. Unbreakable. Dungeon. Okay, we don't need that. Thank you, thank you. Going to be firing him. All right, all three of these guys, goodbye. We technically need strategists. I think we can get better ones. I'm assuming this is the wife. We can use them for fervor reduction assignments. Wait, this is Gong Sun Zan's wife's item. It's a pretty decent administrator item for commerce and industry and a little bit of food. Who is our Poya administrator? Grab that bag. Plus four expertise. Yeah, that's probably as much as we can give him. Yeah, builder is still useful. We're still building much of it. I can give him a title on top of that. He can be. Industry boost. It's either here or Jianning. Let's do it here because most of the buildings are already built, even though Jianning has higher potential later on. Uh, Wang Yun is in charge of the Han court. So we picked up Wang Yun and I'm assuming this is the wife.
Uh, we can keep her. No one has grudges, which is great. We can get camp crushers. Ah, Gaoshun! Gaoshun, where are you? Got an item for you. Yeah, just take this. Liu Zhang's weapon. Or not weapon, a little item there. Set bonus. By itself. We don't really need it. Minister robe. Look at the fallen. Plus four public order, minus 15% corruption. Awesome. Um, we need. Oh, does Lady. Lady Wu have her own armor? Question mark? She does. Um, man, oh man. Get minus 10 satisfaction, but we throw Wang Yu in there. Instead of, say, Cao Cao. I mean, Cao Cao's bonus, cavalry discount, it's nice, works with us. Spies doesn't work because we never got one, so we can't even use these plus two. Uh, maybe next turn I'll activate redeployment, I don't really care about. Yeah, none of the, uh, none of the set bonus. Okay, so Cao Cao comes off. He can still, oh, I can't shift him anywhere this turn. Um, next turn he comes off and we throw Wang Yun in there for minus 30% corruption reduction. Excellent. Plus two public water. He has all the ones, so we need perfect. All right, so these two confederations, so far so good. No new administrator candidates. Sun Tzu, as we mentioned, will be fighting a northern expedition instead. We'll give them an army soon. Before we do that, we might have a few other factions we can confederate. I think we checked all the way to here. Nope. Uh, we are ready. His vassal master. Minus 35. Uh, it would be 0.7. Negative 0.7. Just for a gate pass, though. Not really worth it. Okay, so we got everyone that we can get. The new land we got down here, the Han had zero armies on the field, which is pretty crazy. The new land we got here, we can consider making some vassals here. So Shixie we want to give away to Delger and then trade with him. That's the play. And we can slowly give him the land around because no one has colonized or we haven't reclaimed some and no one colonized the other. I need to shift him in the court because I think he's over here. I moved him ready this turn. He's going to have to wait a turn. Um, I might not be able to trade this away if we want to lock in a trade deal with him because that's the only land connection. Wu Jie needs to colonize. Ling Ling, Tang Wu. Tang Wu's going to be our food bank. Dong Ke is picked up. We need to throw administrator here. I mean, we need to throw administrators in a lot of places. And there's some administrators that we need to remove. Like Zhang Lu and Kuai Ji should not be administrator, although that's giving us a lot of food. I mean, in that regard, he should go to Tang Wu. We shift him next turn. Back to Tang Wu. Oh, we don't have enough good candidates for this. We can just do like discount builds. Not worry about traits until we get better candidates. That doesn't make a lot of sense. We need sentinels. 
that are not nomads. Well, that's one messed up art. Yeah, we just don't have suitable candidates right now. Guess more will have to come. In the meantime, we're going to have to leave those posts open. A lot of the shuffling has to wait till next turn. Diane is totally fine. We're going to upgrade that. Playon's looking fine. Bin Hai is full build already. We don't have to touch it. Should Chengpu move? Should Chengpu move away from the Inhai? It's making a decent amount of money. And honestly, without him, we'll be okay as well. We can move Chengpu to somewhere else, basically. Hmm. Not so sure about that. Guan Yu being here is okay. This is fine. We should go tall here as well. Or we don't have to. We can underdevelop Changsha for now. It's not that important. Shu, same thing. Badong, also approaching full build. It's totally fine. Wu Ling, approaching full build. It's totally fine. Sun Ke needs a lot of work. Working on it. Guangling is okay. Rebellions are returned. That's just what it is right now. Seem to be getting a level up to get conscription building going. All right, new land we just got. Um, let's get to small city, and we got to put the corruption reduction thing out. They have high population, which is great. A lot of things to build. This is going to be commerce heavy. Don't really have to destroy that, but let's get it to small city first. Very much going to be a food area, but also small city first. Hmm. It's level one. It's cheaper to build stuff this season. We're going to build it. All right, Jianning needs the most work. I would like to rush all the copper mines to max. All right, trying to max out our corruption reduction, essentially. Don't have enough for this. Should have stole more money. Tell Drew we're not going to build anything because we're going to give it away. Basi, we could also give it away. Because essentially it's a very bad fervor situation that we cannot do anything about. Alright, we're going to try to do a few things. This might not work so well. Right, give them this. I want this back from him, but he's not going to give it to me. That's the thing. Oh, only 4.4. I was expecting much worse. Because we're taking his food. Now, it's not because I need food. I just want to give each of them a full commandery. This is a gift. Guess it has to be a gift. He doesn't have anything. Um... Okay, so we're good there. Is 
Yeah, I, I unless I control the settlement, I can't really deal with the fervor. They're doing a great job. I can't do anything. Bossy's doing a terrible job. They they need to fix this. I, I don't know how they can do it. I can't do it for them. I can come take Hanzhong essentially and then start lowering it here so that we restrict the number of neighboring counties and just let it go down by itself. It's, it's a lot of work on our part. Right, giving that away. We also picked up Pengcheng from the Han. Oh, wow. We're pretty deep inside here. Um, hmm. Do I want to keep Chen? Fervor's not high. It's not high here either. Uh, we don't need that. I guess we keep it. No point. No point giving it up. Right, he's appeared. I can smack him. He's probably gonna fight me. Oh, he chickened out. We just march. And it's absolutely murder. He's ready retreated once. So he's done. They can go. Uh, I was hoping we can get in there. I mean, we start posturing for attack. I think that's that's the plan. Or we go north, but. Not sure which way is better. I feel like we have to commit a few of these here. Just so it doesn't start snowballing. I don't believe we have fervor problems on any of our southern territories. It has not spread there. We have a small issue here, which we said we'll take care of once we expand up. But aside from that, I think we're good. All right, they countered. We're marching over here. They're going to come across and take care of that afterwards. We're going to give this to Shi Xie. I think we keep Hu Pu. Oh, uh, we are not giving them an army. I hope they don't get attacked. <laughs> next turn. They can get an army next turn. All right, I think we, we did everything we need to do with the courts. I don't want to peace out with any of them. I'm not sure when we will attack them, but it's a matter of time. Yeah, we can ask our... I think we can ask our vassals to become... No, that's not our vassal. And I guess they're, they're just going to be our vassal. We can't really make them subjects. Alright, but we're good. I think we, we covered everything. We still don't have enough to rush that last copper mine. Five, 5k five plus to do that. Don't have that money. Um, we can make these two into vassals, actually. Yeah, like a random wife that we don't need. Liu Yu's wife. Now, Liu Yu might also have some good background bonus. Benevolent Junzi, Declaration of Peace, Public Water. Minus 20 on him? Minus 60 when he's a administrator. Plus 6, okay. 
Okay, I mean, he's great. We can throw him into the core if we can as well. We, we throw even Zhou Yu out right now. So Cao Cao and Zhou Yu gets moved down. And uh, Liu Yu and Wang Yun gets moved up. We don't have to set... We don't need her. Let's make her... Let's make her a vassal. Hong Chong, we're gonna keep our, the temple ourselves if we ever get it. So we don't really need the settlement. Unless we want to fix the fervor situation. Wait, who's doing the assignment here? Perfect. Right, we cancel that. Throw the wife in here, give it away. Uh, we'll get paid for the building. We'll let her keep one. Just the temple is kind of pointless. I don't think we can trade with her. I don't think we have a land route with her. She can feel free to trade with someone else. That's okay. And it's not a great way for us to get a land route. I mean, if we can... If he's willing to give me Sap Heat. 36. It's not impossible. We could technically make this work. What's his confederation value? 39, 25. It's a little high. We would have to give him a bunch of items, a bunch of money, and a bunch of promise payments. We can get all the way up to 13 here. He's a negative three food, so we get the max value at 13. Probably thousand plus. It's not a lot of money for us. And then we have, like, you know, as many gold items as you would ever want. Not a bad deal. Shinsha. Alright, this means we should be able to trade with her. Get her hooked on the food. She's also peaceful. This is perfect. And we go fix the fervor here. Which would also help us over here. Because we're getting rid of some of the neighboring ones. Oh, we also have this. Hmm, we could make a trade to pick up this. We can give him both of these. He gives me this. I can set an army here and we can surgically strike Runan. Let's see if Liu Chong's interested in that. Oh, he's very much interested in that. Also about 14 value there. Just checking it out. Uh, actually.
actually let us get some money for this. Right, this way we can hit them. Ready did our deployment this turn, so we can't really launch anyone there, but that's the idea. One vassal, two vassal, Maton will probably try to confederate instead of actually fight this little salmon colors kingdom of Drone. And we're gonna go to war with them both over here and over here at the same time. But this army needs to move into Doyen's territory first before moving back towards Hanzhong. We also need to spend some time to clean up some of the yellow turban mess before we shift a few armies to attack Huainan over here. Long Ray is our vassal. We're gonna create a few vassal. We're gonna create a vassal here with Shrixia next turn. We'll probably keep most of this. Skull Down could be a vassal state. Also could just keep it. How many trades are we missing? Wait, wrong menu for that. Yeah, we're only missing one trade partner, so it's not like we need that many vassals, which Shrissi has secured. Uh, we should be able to trade with him through here. So we should be good. Yeah, we're keeping hope we're going to build the state workshop here. All right, we're good. Let's uh, continue. Mm, the Yellow Turban's kind of confederating the north, but we're behind them now, so things are going to look very different soon. Yeah, go die. I think the looter disappeared. Uh, the the Naman rebels. Yeah, calling them looters. Coalition. Nature shield. Ooh. I think some of these are former Han Empire. Decent. Can't trust him. Can't trust him either. What happened to, to those... Okay, so she left unhappy. Yeah, for good reasons, greedy. She's willing to spy. Not seeing any reason to hire any of them. Tolgen? I mean, we have Tol Tol. So I think the reason why we got him is because of the fawn is he just come of, came of age. Okay, we can we can grab Taldren. See how many of the former Tall Clan members we can get. Anyone with items? Oh, Tianfeng has a gold armor. Ancient truth. Okay. Oh, Tall Hong's also here. Okay, so let's let's grab Tianfeng, let's grab Tao Hong, let's grab Tao Jin as well. We're gonna be shifting people around. Throw him in Kuai Ji. Uh, he was in Kuai Ji. It's basically gonna boost our food. We're gonna throw Zhou Yu down here. I don't really want to fill up the court, but guess we will. 
Shifting around is going to be a little bit weird going forward, but it's okay. Oh, we don't need Swimful here. Right. Hmm. Why can't I move him this turn? He's going to tell All right, we're going to shift him down here. We have an opening. I think either Joe Upoli comes back in. That's my guess. It will have to be next turn. He just doesn't have good enough bonus to be in the position. We're going to do a naval launch from over here. I need more armies here, not only for them, but also for them. We'll let our vassals take care of that. Ooh, trespass. Potentially. Uh, we were in a... I don't know... Looking at the borders, I feel like, yeah, it, it is a trespass. Ah, so what? We're gonna go to war with them soon. Ooh. Or we can wait here and just attack that. Right, they have an army here. The problem here is like, the garrison's so heavily spear units. We can spray them, you know, with our arrow abilities for sure, but it's not an ideal matchup. All right, let's do more of the cleanup here first. Still going to take us a few turns to wipe out the Numan factions. Oh, another burn officer. Could we... Tujin? Maybe we hope that he comes back again. We'll come back to this. I don't know if there's an army there. Um, we're going to trespass and then declare war next turn. And if we're trespassing, we're just going to guarantee we can hit them next turn. No issues. Shriz is in place, and I am going to let him go. He is currently in the army. That's the only awkward part. We let him wrap up this fight. And then we let him go. He can keep all the items. We're going to gift him the whole thing. I guess we could delegate then, because we've got to reorganize this whole army. I'm not going to let him keep the troops. He's not going to be able to afford it once he goes to his new faction anyway, so it's doing him a favor deleting it. Or else he's never going to summon himself, basically. Oh, we'll level up. Uh, let's see. Give you something useful? Action wide bonus, starting rank for all recruits. Yeah, I will give you turning the tide, it's better for you. Alright, let's get scattering blow first, and then we're gonna twist this way, grab the Flame of the Phoenix, whenever we get a chance to do that. Uh, let me recall him. Please don't have a bad personality. Okay, I mean, at least he's a diplomat. 
cunning just adds a little bit of protect. It's fine. This is okay. Could be worse. Secure our final trade. We're not going to annex you ever. Give us the item. And we'll hook you up on food. And we'll give him land as we get the rest of Delger. For him to rule. Perfect. Alright, we can redo the army here. We didn't lose too much. Uh, we did recruit a new strategist for his armor. But given the situation, I feel like we can keep him. We don't have the white fan. We have the black fan. No, no, no. Just wear a regular one. Plus 10 melee evasion for melee infantry. Range block chance for melee cavalry for our own army. He's not terrible. Uh, we delegated knowing we were going to redo the troops. They're going to get the same troop back. It's going to come in a little lower rank, but everyone's going to be fully healthy. Ah, we have access to Protector Heaven now as well, as well as Imperial units. Hmm, tempting. All right, we'll get these first, super cheap. He's very far away from fire arrows, which is why we went with Imperial Crossbow. Actually, no, he's not far. I thought he was over here. Hmm, should we just go with Onyx Dragon then? A little bit safer, better replenishment rate. Kind of want to give that to Joe Yu. Yeah, don't look so down. Snipe in stock. Minus five morale himself. I mean, we don't have deal drown, so this isn't terrible. Or else we give him a bow. Yeah, it's not. Let's give him a fan. Ludra is also not around anymore. We'll get the tall clan on the field somehow. Alright, they're Guan Yu's probably gonna start this long march down here. Cut through here. They were gonna go through this and this. We'll finish off both. They're gonna go through Denning tribes down to Ahuinan, down to Delger and Mulu, and it's over. Naman faction's gonna be wiped. Um We are gonna continue to colonize. Kill some rebels. Yes. Uh. 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 
Alrighty, so I think that could be our save. That movement obviously is not going to get saved, but we're going to be summoning army here before the end of turn. We're also going to be giving them units. They got to start going to work. Uh, we still want to develop some buildings. Maybe the army here just be summoning three generals that we want here. Maybe the tall clan, given this is start relatively close to where they start uh, their hometown. We'll finish building a lot of things, including our last few copper mine. I believe we own all the copper on the map now. We have the one in here. We got the one over here. We got the entire south. Yeah, we should have all the copper. Corruption reduction should be largely fixed. We look at one of our, yep, 0% where we have administrator. We go somewhere where we don't have administrator, also 0%. So that's great. We don't need this building anymore. Ah, there's still a small percentage. I, the neighboring, actually, I don't know. There is not a neighboring effect. It's just itself. Just this self 10% is enough to get it to 100%. Um, feels like we are 100%. If you see zero, it means you're 100. It means we can keep expanding. Money is going to be flowing in. 2% in places where we don't have neighboring ones, but we can opt for pure income builds, essentially. We have basically near 90, 90 uh, higher than 95% corruption reduction. That's what we have right now, and that's going to keep us going for the late game. Thanks to our two new uh, ministers here, Wang Yun and Liu Yue. We can also add someone here. Not sure who. Going to promote someone from here. Probably Zhou Yu. We'll probably flip these two. Zhou Yu, given he's so peace focused, he can come over here and then Zhou Yu goes to Grand Commandant. And then we'll continue from here. So things are looking quite good. And uh, we need to clean up some of the wars here. Probably going to be fighting most of these minor factions since they don't want to be confederated by us. We'll wipe out the Kingdom of Zhong, launching Cao Cao's army here to take care of that. We will simultaneously attack over here although i don't think we're super prepared over here to fight but we do want to take these land and start reducing fervor over here out west and then obviously eventually work our way up towards the kingdom of Joel's capital um and then launching the northern attack gonna take this first and then start our way back we're probably gonna sail this up we need to summon more armies uh, that's what we're gonna do and then try to finish the rest of the map. It's going to be pretty close to an entire map painting. We could speed this up with just like a naval invasion, but even then, to get to a river, it will take us quite some time. And then sailing up. The land route's really bad. A lot of desert. I really don't want to walk through the land, so we probably want to find a way to get to the river and sail over. But that's still going to take a while, and we'll probably have most of the map by then. And the yellow turbines, we have to wipe them entirely, so we have to paint the north. And then we'll see how things look at that point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you all next time. Bye.